guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing um, a mani swap with Nails in Bloom. Um, she put up a thing on Instagram saying, is there anyone that would wanna do a mani swap with her? I said I was interested. So for those of you who don't know what a mani swap is, is all you do is find whoever you're swapping with, you find a picture of their manicure that you copy and recreate and they do the same for you and then you guys post your pictures at the same time. Um, I've already seen the one that she has recreated for mine and let's just say she did way better than I did. So I just hope I don't fail her doing re recreating hers. Um, anyways, hers is a darker pink flamingo design. Um, I just found it really interesting. She said that her inspiration came from a from her phone case. So let's get started. Today my base is Danny and Sandy Forever. It is by it's newer by OPI. I'm so glad I had this because it's the only base color I had that was even remotely similar to what was her base. Um, and yeah, so let's just jump right in. All my stamping polishes are from Queen. And my stamping plate I'm using today, let me go ahead and show this to you guys. It is the Lena Four Season Summer 01. And I will be using the flamingos right here as well as the palm leaves up here. So I already laid down my base so it had a chance to dry. This is two coats of that Danny and Sandy Forever. And then I'm just gonna jump right into our stamping. And the stamper I'm using today is also from Queen. This one, is rough but I'm so glad it has a case because if you can see like acetone got on this or something but the stamper is still good except for that little chip out of it um, and it's just because I've let my daughter play with these ones because um, they're less expensive so that's why there's a chip anyways we are gonna be starting off with these palm leaves and they're gonna be in this dark gray color for those of you who are new to stamping, um, all I do is I put one line of polish at the very top. There's enough there that you can scrape and fill the whole plate. And my scrape is about at like a 45 degree angle. Um, so if that helps you, I do have a more detailed video, which if I remember to, I will link it in the description box of this video. Um, it does help, um, I like lift up the plate and show you the exact angle I scrape at when I scrape my polishes. Um, and like right here, polish didn't fill there, but I'm not too worried about it because I have really short nails. And so I know I don't need the whole image anyways, um, if that makes sense. Okay, so the palm leaves are done. I'm just gonna go ahead and clean this up and we will shift up to the flamingos. I like to scrape onto a paper towel, that way it just makes my cleanup a little bit easier. Now we're just gonna do the white flamingos, and if you can tell, so the flamingos are gonna end up being pink, but because we're going over such a dark base, you need to have it done in white first. Um, if you were to just try to stamp the pink over it, I mean, it's a stamping polish, I'm sure it will show up a little bit, but it won't be opaque enough to really make it pop. And this is also what she did in her. She kind of gave her flamingos like a two dimensional look. I need some more white stamp and polish people. Um, I've been dying to try the Twinkle Tea stamping polish. And so I think I will be purchasing that sometime this week or next week and giving it a try but I don't want to just buy like the um boring colors because it's like of course those are gonna work so I want to go through and see like what other ones of mine are getting close to being low and getting those as well so when my polish is about to run out as you can see I just went over my plate a little bit more with the polish because I know that there's not going to be a lot on there for the pickup um, I got a little bit more this time, but see, I'm just kind of dragging it down so that I have, when I scrape, I know all these flamingos are going to be filled. Okay. So when you first lay down your white flamingos, you don't really have to be all that careful about placement. You don't have to worry about where they're going. 
um, because it's your first layer. Now when you're layering up your designs like this so that it pops, the next time around you do have to be a little bit more careful. And so this is where I recommend having a clear stamper as well. Um, lots of people um, give Queen a hard time. I actually, I actually really like their stampers a lot better. I mean, it's personal preference. They're a little bit firmer. They're not as squishy. Um, and I find that they pick up the design a little bit better for me. I was using Uber Chic for a long, long time, which I still like them. I just don't think it's the right stamper for me um, to be using. It kind of skips on the design for me. I just haven't quite figured out how to use that one. So whenever you get a new stamper, it's definitely a, you have to sit and play with it yourself. Okay. So do you see how that just turned out a little bit better than how it would have been if we wouldn't have put the white underneath? And I actually really, really like this design. I'm the type of person that when I try to do nail art, I feel like I need to have it be classic, which, I do have a few designs coming up that I am going to try to think outside of the box. I just want it to be a little bit more fun and festive. So um, you will be seeing more of those from me. I won't be doing so much of like, okay, it's flamingos. We need to do a blue background with green leaves and then pink flamingos. Um, I really like that she took inspiration from her phone case and it wasn't necessarily you know, the right colors, and I absolutely love that. And I find that that's kind of what's in right now is to just be more creative and think outside the box and do things yourself. So when I'm lining these up, I just find one flamingo that I know goes there, and then if the rest don't line up perfectly, I'm okay with it. Um, I'm not the perfectionist here. That, and I kind of like to see the white peeking through a little bit. I think it looks amazing. Um, that's just me personally, but I just think it looks so, so good. And that one, I tried to line up that flamingo. It didn't match up perfectly, but you know what? I still think it looks good. It kind of, I like the whole dimensions there that you can see that there's different layers to this design. So I just get a cotton pad and um, a little dish with acetone in it, and then I get my elf concealer brush this one I took traveling and it melted somehow like it wasn't acetone I opened the bag it didn't smell like acetone it just literally melted in the sun in the car so it's a little bit banged up but it still works just fine I think I'm gonna get a new one and then specifically keep this one for traveling because hello um, but it's only a dollar at Walmart Anyways, I take this with a little bit of acetone dipped in a brush. I soak the tip and then I take a little bit off. That way I don't flood my cuticles with it. And when you're working with darker colors, like I have this darker gray, I just do like one swipe. And then you'll know when it runs out, do the same thing and dip it. Okay, anyways, what I was gonna say is this is your nail art. Lots of people are like, it's your makeup, do what you want. Um, this is your nail art, guys. It's you, at the end of the day, that has to live with what you see. Um, it's not anybody else. So don't, don't feel like you have to go with the status quo. Don't feel like you have to do what everybody else is doing because you honestly, honestly don't. Like, it's, it's your creative space. It's where you can express yourself and if expressing yourself means that you are going to do a neon cheetah print design which i once again i saw somebody else do this and i was like girl that is amazing it was a neon gradient and i wish i could remember who it was it was neon gradient and then they did leopard print over the top of it and i was just like Kate, why can't I be that creative sometimes? But I feel like I am so worried about people being like, neon cheetahs don't exist. You know, like, I don't know. I feel like that's what I'm more worried about the comments I will get and the things people will say that I don't go outside of my comfort zone. Um, but I'm going to. So watch out for that, guys. I'm going to start doing some more fun designs. I got some neon polishes in the mail as, um, I don't, 
is it PR? Um, a company reached out to me and it's actually a great story which I'll tell about in that video. But a company reached out to me and said, hey, would you swatch our summer collection? And I said, yes, I'd love to. And so they sent me the polishes for free for an honest review. Um, so, anyways, they're neon polishes. Sorry, I'm trying to find my top coat. I didn't pull it out. I just use Shesh V. I picked this up at Sally's. Um, I just use it because it's easy. I know lots of other people like indie brands. Um, maybe someday I'll get there, but I just like having this one, which my child played in, so I might be going buy myself a new one. Um, I just like having this one because it's easy. I run out. I can just head to the store. Anyways, this company sent me neon nail polishes that I will be swatching and reviewing for you. Those will be... Um, going up soon. Okay, you guys, this top coat is like, has met its maker. Do you see like all of the top coat strings following me out of the bottle? So here is our finished design. I'm so, so excited to post these with um, Nails in Bloom. I think that they are just absolutely good. I feel like I did as good a job as her um, just because... I'm not very good at the whole side-by-side -side thing. I'll pull up a photo right here on my phone. I feel like they're similar, yeah. Her nails are just longer and more elegant. Um, but I feel like they're similar. I think I nailed it. Maybe not. Um, anyways, I will post side-by-sides of these um, still frames next. But you guys, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. It helps me out a lot with the whole YouTube analysis um, algorithm whatever it's called and don't forget to subscribe as well and if you want to be notified when I upload videos you can go ahead and click that bell for notifications or just you know because my uploads are kind of sporadic anyways thank you guys so so much for watching and as always be polished wear polished and a little superstition never hurt we'll catch you guys later bye